we have something special happening in this example. There's a new pattern here. Um, one of the patterns is when you have two atoms that are different in electronegativity. So you see there's a carbon here and an oxygen. Oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. And so what's going to happen is oxygen is pulling on those electrons just a little bit more than carbon is. What happens is those pi electrons can move onto those oxygen uh, or that oxygen atom, and that can form a new arrangement of electrons. And so when you see pi electrons between two atoms that are different in electronegativity, you could take the pi electrons and move them towards the more electronegative atom. So this is a one arrow process. And there's a single bond now between the carbon and the oxygen. The oxygen has three lone pairs, so one bond and three lone pairs on an oxygen. That gives us a formal charge of zero. And the oxygen, the carbon, I'm sorry, carbon in the center has four bonds here, but we took a pair away. The, the pi electrons, we moved them onto the oxygen. Now it only has three bonds. So carbon with three bonds, well, sorry, forgot that, that double bond there. That carbon is now positively charged. Now, I said this example was special because I'll let you pause the video here for a second. Look at the new structure. Can we draw another resonance structure? And the answer is yes. So notice by moving the pi electrons, we have a new structure. In the new structure, we have an allelic positive charge. So here's your double bonded carbon. That's an sp2 carbon. And one atom away is the allelic position. That carbon has a positive charge. So remember what that means. That carbon is still sp2 hybridized but it has an empty p orbital. That's gonna allow these pi electrons to spread out here. So you can draw an arrow from the double bond going in between those atoms. So the oxygen on top stays the way it is. We'll draw it with the formal charge of negative. Now there's a double bond here. The carbon in the center now has four bonds. And the carbon at the end, this last carbon, it's not shown, but we know there's two hydrogens on there. There's four bonds. Well, if we take one of those bonds away, that carbon then has only three bonds, so it becomes positive. if we were ranking resonance structures. If we were ranking resonance structures from stable to least stable, so we'll, we'll call this most stable, and we'll go to least stable. We'll call this structure A, B, and C. So most stable we'll call A. There's fewer um, formal charges. There's zero formal charges. So that would be the most stable. You've got two here, okay? And so these two do have formal charges. All right, there's a negative charge on uh, the oxygen in both cases. And in both cases, you have a positive charge on a carbon. And so in this case, A would be more stable than B and C. And these, of course, would, we'll call these equal right here. 